Hey guys, it's Dale Walker at Whole Shop Performance. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, I had to go through a second round of cancer. Unfortunately, radiation had attached to my C7 vertebrae. It was out for months. But uh, anyway, I got a clean bill of health right now. Anyway, I would like to introduce you to Frank and Zuki. Frank and Zuki is a really trick piece that I built back in the early 2000s and I road raced it in uh, the Super Dinosaur class in AFM in 2004. But a little backstory: I had this bike um, when I was in my mm, geez just out of high school about 22 years old I think and or younger and then I sold it to a buddy of mine and it was a 1980 GS1100E had a Bassani pipe on it, some shocks, that was it. <clears throat> anyway, he low-sided it, and it was in a metal shed for 15 years. And then I decided, hey, I want to build this dinosaur super bike thing. Um, I used to road race also, not just drag race, back in the 80s, early 80s, a couple years. And uh, anyway, I ended up getting the bike back from my buddy, and I built this bike. I named it Frank and Zuki. Um, and it's a trick piece. So let me grab the camera and I'll go around and do a walk around the bike. That's what this video is all about. All right. So we'll just call him Frankie. And as you can see, I had some custom decals made. I can barely see it's so bright out here in the sun. See Frank Frankenstein's in the background right there. Huh? Cool. It's on the belly pan too. Anyway. <coughs> As you know, uh, I'm just doing a handheld, for so sorry if I shake a little. As you know, I have tons of bandit parts through the years. So, the only thing left of this bike, GS1100, is basically the engine, the frame cradle itself, and the fuel tank. Alright, the rest of the parts are bandit 1200 modified parts and RF900. So um, let's do the chassis first then I'll talk about the motor. So the front end is a Bandit 1200 front end with all the race tech components and my springs in it. Um, it has my fork brace on it. Hopefully you can see that. I can't even see where I'm pointing this thing. Um, first I had uh, the 1200 Bandit rotors on it and uh, the second race uh, I tacoed the rotors bolt one rotor really bad warped it so I came in uh, that was the last practice session I pulled one caliper off pulled one brake line off and ran the race with uh, one rotor and I got second in that race uh, it was a super dinosaur class they call it it's a 17 year rule back from current and you can modify it any way you want so there was KZ's with upside down forks old H2 H, H2 uh, Kawasaki's like H2R's and uh, some other Suzuki GSX-R's and stuff older ones but uh, anyway um, then what I did was I used a RF 900 front upper triple clamp <clears throat> so I could still have clip-ons but not have them super low I still wanted to use a Bandit 1200 fairing so you know made my own fairing stay and all that stuff all the fabrication work on this as far as welding and tubing was done by my brother-in-law Paul McCain he is my ace fabricator or has been for years and years makes a lot of our whole shot components and whole shot exhausts that we used to make I'm getting out of it now. Just turned 67. I want to retire in the next year. So we're running down on parts and everything. Anyway, so then on to um, the rear. We cut the whole subframe off completely. Of course, these bikes had little tiny twin shocks, you know that, and a spindly little swing arm. So um, we made a whole new subframe. I took a Bandit 1200 swing arm, we shortened it two inches. We used the Bandit 
uh, linkage. And then uh, <coughs> Fox Shocks was right down the street. That's before I was doing cogen or anything else. So Jeff at Fox made me a custom shock. And um, it turned it into a mono shock. Uh, it's hard to see up in here. Let's see if I can get in here, but I don't think you can see it. We have a there's a ride height right height adjustment in the frame, so I can adjust the ride height without taking the shock off uh, right in the frame. And then uh, it's got the regular you know bandit linkage with my dog bones, which I can raise or lower it some right there. And it took a while to get it to handle and not wiggle and wobble and all that good stuff because it was mainly the shock. The front end was fine, but finally got it to handle good, pretty good. And uh, anyway, so there's the res extra reservoir for the shock. This is just a custom engine breather uh, canister right here. Um, I took a piece of, uh, it's either Lexan or plexiglass tubing. And I machined it, parted it off, and then we machined Delrin end on the back here for the breather. On the front, there's two aluminum nipples. These are both off the engine, one off the starter plate area, the other one off the valve cover. That's a trick. There's the, where the battery mounts right in the frame right there. This Pyramid Plastics Hugger, the ones I used to import for the 1200 Bandits. And these are 1200 Bandit wheels. <coughs> Then what we had to do is, <clears throat> to get it to clear in this, to fit in the frame, I had to use a little small offset kind of shaft. So I used a DG drag race plate. We made all these rear sets here, moved the pegs way up. It's got my electric shifter, power shifter 2 on it that I foot shift with my um, barrel trigger that I used to make. Like I say, I can't see right now very good because of the sun and this lens. All right, and so it runs total loss. So um, my brother-in-law Paul made this spider spider protector here that bolts on top of the APE uh, case cover. Uh, start it with my drag bike starter right there. Okay, out on the grid or just before you grid. And we machine this, but I machine the rest by riding on the track. That's me dragging the thing on the track. Mainly at Sears Point, uh, it was uh, Infinity at the time, now it's Sonoma Raceway. There's a the custom belly pan I made, so you have to have that. See the Frankenzuki decal? It's totally enclosed on the bottom, no oil dripping, no problem there. <coughs> uh, yeah, I ran a uh, uh, I think that's an RK uh, nano ring chain 530 and uh, sprocket specialist uh, gold anodized sprocket. Uh, let's go around the other side. Custom built, handmade, a four into one. It's all tucked under the belly pan. Underneath, it's wrapped to protect the paint. Um, hand machine these spigots spring mount just so I could get it off and on easy because oil filters buried behind it you got to pull the pipe to change the oil filter um, same thing same height on the pegs this is this side here where the uh, swing arm pivot bolt goes through <coughs> it's my 14 inch comp 2 muffler uh, this tail section was made by Cyclecraft that tail section was on my single overhead cam drag bike that went in the nines and I kept it the name of that bike was Blackie it was a 1162 cc stroke Honda single overhead cam 750 and I kept it and I said you know I always loved that thing I'm gonna put it on this bike so that's what we mounted on here I made these little side covers and of course that's a stock GS 1100E 1980-81 uh, gas tank so the motor, well before I get to that, then I got a digital tack, a little Daytona tack. I made my own uh, gear indicator. Uh, I didn't really care about first and second, I just wanted to see the upper gear. So there's a neutral third, fourth, and fifth gear. Down in there is my power shifter two kill box. That's my delay box for the ignition kill. And this is a Dyna shift light. 
CRG adjustable levers. This is uh, in, uh, the shifter on, off. This is ignition. Very simple. Dyna S with the Dyna coils. Has a rev limiter. And of course the little uh, adjustment box for the RPM uh, settings on the shifter. I mean on the uh, shift light. <clears throat> okay, getting to the engine. The engine is a smaller 1168. Very high compression. Uh, 13 and a half to 1 and then I milled the head. It's got about 255 pounds of cranking pressure. Uh, I left stock little valves in it because I wanted to build a lot of torque. Relatively mild cams. Web 348 cams are great camshafts. Uh, mild but still make good power. Um, precision machine set of valve springs and titanium retainers. And those are only 36 millimeter flat slide Makunis. And as you can see, I cut the ports off on the head and I shortened the ports about an inch and a quarter and straightened them all out. And then I machined, I machined, uh, had my buddy machine billet with a hollow hole in them. They almost look like a cam lobe to match and get the port spacing right. Then we welded them on and then I ported the inside and uh, did all the port work and blended into the ports. I did the, that head all myself. And as far as clutch, it's got a billet hub, clutch hub, uh, and uh, Vessera fibers and steels and um, just a heavy duty springs. I think I put Barnett springs in it. <coughs> simple, simple. Anyway, um, yeah, the motor for a small engine, I, I ran 110 ERC fuel, that was plenty, even with the compression, and uh, this little thing made 159, 162 I think was the best pull, it made 155 to 159 several runs once I got it tuned in, and the bike only weighs 462 pounds, you wouldn't think so, but that's what it weighs, and uh, it rips. It's fast. So, yeah, it's been sitting for uh, since 2004. It was the last time I raced it. And you can see right here, look at the tires all cracked. These are the tires right off the racetrack. Back tire doesn't have any cracks. Front one just did. That's right off the track. So this thing hasn't run since 2005. Uh, there's a local bike show coming up. Car show, small show. I'm putting Igor my orange 1250 in and Frank and Zuki. It's for the racetrack that got washed out uh, about an hour from here's Top Gun Raceway, drag strip in Fallon. And it's a it's a benefit for them to raise money. So I just wanted to show you Frank and Zuki. This bike is just bitching, it's part of my history. It was in Cycle World back in 2005. And I just hope you enjoyed this and you like Frank and Zuki. One day we'll have to get this thing running and I'll maybe I'll do a little blast on it. Sounds like fun, huh? Well, till next time, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and comment below. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.